welcome to vlogist video 11 today i'm going to tell you guys about my experience working on a godzilla film here in japan this was like a dream come true for me i'm a huge godzilla fan well actually more of a mothra fan but just the whole japanese monster film genre i love so when I heard that I was going to be working on a Godzilla movie, I freaked out. <laughs> I mentioned a little more about this job a couple years back on my main channel, but I'll just give you like a quick overview for those of you that hadn't heard about it. I worked as a dialogue coach on movie sets. So what that is is basically helping Japanese actors with their English pronunciation. So I would go to the set and I would be there while they were shooting the scenes where they were speaking English and I would tell them, yeah, that sounded awesome or no, we got to redo that scene, let's practice a little more. Um, yeah, just basically coaching them to try and make their pronunciation sound as natural as possible. So on Shin Gojira, the newest Godzilla movie, I was working with Ishihara Satomi and I'll tell you guys a little bit about how it went. So the first big job I had was to look at the script. They sent me this, which is the first version of the script. It doesn't even say Godzilla. It's like top secret G Sakuhin, which is like G project, I guess you could call it. Um, and inside here is the original Godzilla script, which was then edited several times. Uh, to become the final version. But I guess I can't show this to you guys because it's top secret. But as you can see, it's a very thick book, all in Japanese, of course. So my first job was to go through this and read it and understand it. If you've seen the newest Godzilla movie, you may have noticed, if you speak Japanese or if you're kind of paying attention to the Japanese dialogue, you may have noticed there's lots of really difficult words. So it took me a long time to get through this and I would highlight every kanji that I wasn't too sure of and I would whip up my dictionary and kind of try to understand it sentence by sentence and yeah, it took a long time. <laughs> Next, what I had to do was the director would tell us which parts of the script he would like translated into English and then myself and my boss would go through and do that. So there's quite a bit of English in this movie. Ishihara-san speaks a lot of English, she's very good at English and she speaks very fast, it's quite amazing. So a big portion of the script was in English, so that was my next job was to translate it and make sure that the English was correct. And then I would have lessons with her to go over the lines and kind of explain to her exactly what they meant and practice pronunciation with her. The lines kept getting tweaked as we were doing it. So we would get the lines down and they would sound great. And then the director would decide to change something up and we'd have to start all over again. So it can be kind of difficult and I'm sure it was very stressful for her, but she's such a hard worker. I think we're around the same age. She's either a year younger or a year older than me. I respect her so much for how far she's gotten at such a young age. She's really amazing. And then this was the final script. So once we got this, it was like, okay, finally. <laughs> we know this is like the, the final version and we don't have to worry about it being changed anymore. So this looks really cool. I love this. I'm gonna keep this forever. I should have gotten everyone to sign it. I don't know why I didn't. And then of course the final part, the coolest part of my job was going on set while they were filming the movie. We filmed on an airbase and that was a full day filming. They filmed a couple different scenes but the one that stands out the most in my memory is the final scene where Satomi-san and the other main character, the male main character, are talking and Godzilla is standing in the distance and I thought it was so cool to watch the movie and think that I was like standing right there while they were filming that and then Godzilla was like right behind me because of course there was nothing behind us when we were filming. That was all added in afterwards. Oh, we actually took a photo all together um, that day, at the end of that day. I can show that to you guys. So here's the stage where the two actors were standing and I believe they added in Godzilla somewhere here. I'd have to rewatch it to know exactly and I was standing right over here and every time they started shooting I'd have to duck and make sure I wasn't on camera. Um, but yeah, we took a photo with all the cast that were there that day. There's me on the side with my script. This is Ishihara Satomi. She's so pretty. Hasegawa Hiroki. And here are the two directors which it was such an honor to meet. Higuchi Shinji. 
hopefully you guys can see this, it's really small. <laughs> and Hideaki Anno. Hideaki Anno was the director for Neon Genesis Evangelion, so it's pretty awesome to meet him in person. They're both very, very nice people. Luna's back to join us today. <laughs> she just loves being in the video. You gonna say hi today? You gonna say hi? Say hi to everyone. You shy? <laughs> so once we finished the shooting, we had to of course wait a very long time for it to be completed. But once it was near completion, they had a big party for all the staff and the actors and the actresses and we all got together. We got to watch a couple scenes from the movie and it was so exciting <laughs> just to see like all our work being put together. And then finally the movie came out in theaters and I went to see it with keyboard son and my name was in the credits and it was just such an exciting feeling. I was just so proud. <laughs> it's just pretty awesome to be able to say that your name is in a Godzilla movie. And they had a little uh, merchandise shop when we went to the movie theater. So I got a couple really cool bags. I haven't used these yet. I've had these for so long. And I don't want to use them so I don't want to wreck them. So first is, so these are just like canvas tote bags. This is like a little cartoon version of all the different monsters. It's so colorful and so my style. I love it so much. And then the second bag is like retro style and it's got a Mothra, which I'm obsessed with. Isn't that cool? I'll probably use these one day, but for now I'm going to keep them in the bags and keep them nice. <laughs> I got this cool like thank you package for working on the movie which came with this which is like an emergency case again it says G Sakuhin extra boot Godzilla the directors and apparently this is a fireproof case so I keep like my important photos and documents and stuff that I wouldn't want to get destroyed in a fire in here and then they also gave us this really cute lunch bag. And I also got this awesome towel which says Kyodai Hume Ikimono Saigai Tai Saku Hombu. And then it says Toho uh, at the end there, which is the studio where they always film the Godzilla movies. And that means like Kilda, a really large, unknown, living things, disaster, countermeasure, headquarters, or something like that. <laughs> and then it says Godzilla, Godzilla in the background there. And then of course I had to order the DVD as soon as it came out. So I got the DVD and it came with this bonus um, movie ticket holder. But I didn't keep my movie tickets. I thought I did. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not. So I have nothing to put in here, which is really sad. And then I was at the post office uh, buying some stamps for my friend. And I saw this advertisement for limited edition Godzilla stamps and like other collectible things. And I had to order it. But after ordering it, I had to wait like three months for it to arrive in the mail. <laughs> it felt like forever. But I finally got it, which is why I wanted to make this video today. So let's open this together because I've been dying to open this. So this is what it looks like. Looks like I've got a wall scroll here. Sweet, that's awesome. I'm gonna have to find a way to hang that in my bedroom. And then this is a little folder with the stamps inside it. It says Shin Gojira on the front there. And there's a little stamp in the corner that says Gojira 2017. Oh, I didn't even notice this. It's got a footprint. Oh, and the front has, what? <laughs> How did I not notice this? That's so weird. I guess because it was reflective. That's so cool. And the inside looks like this. 
So here's the stamp set. There are 10 different stamps and they all have different scenes from the movie. <laughs> the baby. I was so surprised when I first saw this. I was like, what is that? Is that what the new Godzilla looks like? Because <laughs> we had no idea because we didn't see anything when we were filming it. I had no clue what he was going to look like until I watched the final product, the movie. And then, of course, he evolves into the epic final version. <laughs> Thank God. This is a postcard set. I'm definitely never going to use these. I will probably frame them all. I think these will look really cool framed and put on a wall. Once I move somewhere that finally lets me put pins in the wall. The baby! And then finally they give you this 500 yen card which can be used at bookstores. But like why would you want to use that? If you use that then it would just make the set incomplete. So <laughs> that will probably forever sit in here unused. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my little story about working on the Godzilla movie. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> it's a story I'll be telling my children. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my little Godzilla merchandise collection. I cannot wait until I move somewhere where I can display all this and put it on the walls. I'm gonna have like this epic like Godzilla living room. It's gonna be the best. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you again tomorrow for another video. I'm going to Tokyo to hang out somewhere cool with Sophie so I look forward to that. Bye guys!